we are finally getting an in-depth look at Mr. Beast's mega warehouse worth millions of dollars. This is Mr. Beast, and he has just invited me to his top secret YouTube warehouse. Well, actually, we're currently inside of it, and I want to show you guys around so he can get views. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this is insane. How much a ridiculous setup like this actually costs? And I'm a little scared because I've never shown anyone around this studio. This is gonna be a first time. This is gonna be cool. Wow, this is, this is gonna be the first. Square feet, there's no poles or anything. <laughs> sets, we can do whatever we want. Do you know what's blowing my mind? This is not what I associate with YouTube. You know what's funny? That's literally what everyone says when they come in here. Yeah. They're like, for YouTube? One thing I noticed immediately when I walked in. Like, wow. Clap, you hear nothing back. Yeah. Except these guys in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're working on a video. That's exactly right. So we soundproof the ceiling. On top of that, uh, you'll probably notice there's hundreds of sprinklers on the ceiling. Do you have sprinklers because you keep blowing stuff up in here? Yeah, exactly. No, you could blow up a car there and not have to worry about burning them in the building. That's a rare use case scenario. Ooh. Wow, this place is huge. You need a million dollars. These are empty. Don't try to rob me right now. So we're putting $10,000 in 100 briefcases. Is there a reason you've settled on this particular model of briefcase? Does this just not look like $10,000? I don't know. It could be maybe more golden. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think silver is just that classic look. iPhone. Obviously iPhone. Steve yeah. Jobs. Steve Jobs. Name the person who created Android. Andy Rubin. Okay, well... I didn't know that. We'll keep a tally of every single person we meet in this tour. This right here is one of our coming up videos. The beauty of having all this space is our old warehouse was basically the size of this room. This room feels Oh like wow. I've yeah, actually really seen this video that he talks about in the future. Yeah, so you should remember that if you show anything back. Because it's already posted. Right. Well, you're going to break tech in front of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will. This was our little hub over here that you would have thought was baller. So this is what it looked like when we were filming. So you could see all the girls' cameras there, all the boys' cameras there. So we could constantly monitor it. This is the kind of stuff we don't normally show. We had to have six or seven people here monitoring every angle because if they just touch the red line, they're out. You have to basically set up like 40 cameras so you can monitor every single inch of the line, yeah. what they're doing on top of content. And there's two of them. It's a role you don't think about. Wow. Today, I stared at girls for a hundred hours. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, you might want to rephrase yeah. <laughs> I stared at a red line for a hundred hours. <laughs> Someone's getting a little edgy over here. Yeah, and on top of that, you can zoom in as well. So <laughs> a little risky. Just zooming into their mouths or whatever while they're eating food. Oh my God, like what kind of zoom level? You want to go to the camera room? Yeah. <laughs> James, he's curious. Do you use iPhone or Android? Ooh, two to zero. Two zero. Steve Jobs. Wrapped around the studio is tons of office space, multiple floors. You'll just see like these. Wow, this place is once again huge. Oops. <laughs> I didn't do it. All right, so this is the camera room. By the yes, way. some videos we use 100 cameras, some videos we use 10, some we need to be able to zoom in 100x, some we need 100 vlog cameras for hide and seek. There's a lot of weird things in here. You want to summon Tariq? Should I summon him? You summon him. Hey, what's up? <laughs> this transition is gonna suck. This is Tariq, he's head of camera. Hello. He's gonna show us what's going on here. I've never seen so much camera gear in my entire life. Yeah. Wow, this is insane. <laughs> this is probably worth millions of dollars. Camera's usually hanging somewhere on set, capturing it. Okay, what? Just to give you guys an idea, the FS5 was a $6,000 camera when it was launched in 2015. These guys have 26 of them. 5K. With Whoa. Yeah. Let's do the math in it. Yeah, this, yeah. yeah. It's, the total's a lot. <laughs> oh, just one type of camera almost goes up to $800,000. Our videos relative to these are yeah. very homegrown. We film most of them in my bedroom. The widest angle we have is like 24 mil, and the most telescopic one we have is like a 55 mil. But these guys, when they go wide, they go wide. This is a 10 millimeter lens, which is used to capture the entirety of a massive video set in one shot. And then when they want to get close-ups from further away, they have a lens here capable of not 50 millimeters or 80 millimeters, but 300 millimeters. This is a- Whoa, that is- Intense. Sony 4K camcorder. So we usually use these for run and gun videos slash when we have a lot of nighttime shots. And that's because it has not just actual night vision, but also just insane optical image stabilization. Look how much the lens moves on the inside. And then to top it all off, there's about 50 GoPro cameras in these boxes here, and another 50 of what are effectively super high-end security cameras, each capable of streaming a live view of their feed so that people in that control center can keep an eye on the video contestants in real time. Oh, and also they have 20 times optical zoom. And then the piece de resistance. This is an FPV drone. 
That looks like you've, you've made it. We have an FPV pilot. You built this? He built it, yeah. That's actually wild that something that someone has built themselves yeah. is a big part of your filming gear. I'm putting you on the spot here. All right. Can you guess the total value of tech in this room? I'm about to be so wrong. 1.3 million. <laughs> <laughs> Tariq, it's been great. Thank you so much, man. Oh, and the thank God I'm back. Tariq sucks. I won't leave again. I kind of missed you, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're missing a lot Yeah, of definitely knowing that one like type of camera like almost made it to $1 million, I was going to say probably two to $3 million would be more exact. <laughs> but anyways, this is missing a lot. Don't look at it. It's ugly. Do you have iPhone or Android? I do not. Which? Well, I have Android. Oh, you use Android. Android? Oh, wait, so that's one for Android? One for Android. You use iPhone? I like to play both sides. Well, I guess oh. a point for both? Yeah. It's 2022 and if you're still buying whiteboards, you are an idiot. There's a thing called whiteboard paint. You can just draw wherever, it doesn't matter, it comes off. So for us, any note that we make, we make it a thing to keep it digital. You want yeah. to keep it online so that anyone can kind of log in and check it. Do you guys not care about that? No, no, we're wall drawlers. Can I grab a water? No. He took it anyways. <laughs> this is an enormous screen. When we got this place, someone was like, yeah, we got free TVs and that was all I was told. I don't even Comment below if you are an iPhone user or an Android user. These free TVs that you find all around this building, they're actually Sony's new 85-inch 8K HDR smart TVs, and they're being used to watch 1080p content. Fantastic. Very comfortable. That's an iPad holder. Yeah, but does anyone actually use this? You tell me. <laughs> and while he's getting comfortable, we're gonna continue the tour. We don't need him. What is this for? Like, in the middle of a meeting, is someone just gonna be like, sorry guys? Hey. We're doing a, a tour, if okay. you don't mind. <laughs> Wait. It's too comfortable. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't work. I can't get in. Were you struggling to get inside that room? All you gotta do is just that. It picks up the Bluetooth on my phone and it recognizes it's me, so I can unlock the door. <laughs> So yeah, Ooh, fancy, fancy. Live for the most part. So you actually sleep in your office? Of course. This is my bed. It looks like my girlfriend left me a message. Yes, if you wanna sleep in my bed, I won't stop you. Okay. This is oh. nice. Okay, so in Jimmy's fridge. Ooh, he's got a fridge too. Essentially launching your own sauce at cheeseburger. Blur what's on it so they don't get the ingredients. The only thing you have to eat them with is yogurt. The worst part of my tiny apartment is uh, the fridge blocks the TV. I'm running out of room. <laughs> <laughs> but it's above the couch, so I don't use it. These are all my clothes over here. Bathroom talk? Oh, really? Even my bathroom's not off limits? <laughs> <laughs> Just filming the bathroom together? So, this is Ooh. a heated toilet seat. I'm telling you, it will change your life. Get a heated toilet seat. It will make your butt. Wow. He's getting B-roll of my toilet. Yeah. This is kind of my morning routine. I get out of bed, I walk over here, work out, and then I walk over here, I shower, and I walk over here, I change, and then I walk over here and I eat. It's like a little morning circuit, and then I walk out there and I work. And right over here. Oh, very efficient. On a React channel, which we film in here. iPhone or Android? On three, hold up what phone you use. Oh God. Three. Uh, Wait, you have two? You have, wait, they're both iPhones. Let's go, never mind, good. <laughs> Anyways, we're <actually> oh. <laughs> over here. So this is where we film all our Reacts videos. Let's react to some tech content. Let's see it. You gotta see the best tech video of all time. Wait, is this Why a 360 like camera? What the hell? Wait. <laughs> they are so trolling <laughs> right now. It was rendered weird. Was this supposed to happen or not? What is going on? Is that your cat's bum? That's Milo. Nice to meet you, Milo's butthole. <laughs> oh, I know this video. This is one of my favorite visions of the future. These calendars here. Oh my gosh, and you can walk up to it like that so it knows what part of Wow, very futuristic. Play on the real world. I do too. Honestly, I'm kind of pissed off we don't already have this. Could you see yourself using like all this kind of stuff? 100%. I mean, I don't know how to ride a bike, so not this. <laughs> I'm just thinking about like Pokemon Go too. Oh, all right. Now we're on to our next clip with Tesla. There's no Elon. I'm disliking. <laughs> this is some very brave piloting. Yeah, yeah what the Oh my hell? gosh. Isn't a Tesla the safest car ever made in history? Remember it survived a crash test and actually broke the crash test dummy. Do you see Teslas as like an art form? I just like, obviously that they don't run on fossil fuels. Fast in other cars it has more like amenities but i don't really use any of that the biggest pull to me for a tesla is the interior like you sit down you feel like you're being of course if you're a car guy i'm yeah. just not who's have this guy oh this i need yeah that looks very cool oh no. the future of chopsticks actually genius i'm calling someone to order them i know you were trying to prank us but i don't <laughs> care <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I'm buying them. Hey, I need some uh, auto stick chopsticks. Love you. 
you don't probably get much experience with Android phones. Never. This is the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. One of its big selling points is the fact that it has the biggest camera sensor in a phone. Wow. Wow, that's huge. In comparison to other phones, of course. <laughs> yeah, the coloring's good. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look like a wallpaper. I can't say it's better, but I can tell you it's not worse. It's an interesting take, because normally iPhone users just kind of shut down Android phones. And for coming out to Beast React Studio, you get a giant wad of money. Here you go. Thanks for coming out. All right, let's continue. Wow. Android or iPhone? Ain't that nice. Yes. Two more Android points. I hate you guys. And this room over here, I think you guys will enjoy. So it's top secret, but I'll let you know. Ooh, top secret. Of all the rooms in the building, I feel like you would appreciate this the most. All right, so this is the Mr. Beast server room. The way these guys have set it up is that all the projects that they're ever working on are stored right here on site in this server, which means that every single computer in this entire complex is accessing the same set of files at the same time. But the cherry on top is that it's configured so that even if you're sitting on the other side of the world, you can actually remotely log in and access the editing machines here to use them to edit footage that's stored right here in this server. So how much storage would you say you have? I already know that this is gonna be very, very expensive. Do you use Android or iPhone? Do you play chess? I do play chess on a game of chess. Now, over the few days that I spent with Jimmy, the one key thing that I've learned about this guy is he takes board games seriously. He absolutely caned me in a game of Catan the night before. Chess was my way of making sure I won one back. Oh my God, that was a good was game. Scary. All right, so this is the editing room. And I had two things that I wanted to find out here. One, how fast is Mr. Beast internet? Oh, I see. Yes, that is very important. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> to upload this, you know, with footage finding and stuff. That oh, upload speed yeah. is on another level. They kind of do. The editors who prefer Windows, they're each using $19,000 HP workstations with 24 core server grade processors and 256 gigabytes of RAM. Wow. Back, a pretty equivalently specced $21,000 Mac Pro. Wait, that's how much they cost? Yeah, Jimmy didn't even know how much they cost. Feels like we've been in a lot of rooms, but this is only part of it. There's so many rooms in this building and it's so massive. That's what I love about it. I feel like I'm getting my steps in. And over here is the little kitchen. There's feet. Oh, wow. Very nice the kitchen. Beverages. You've never seen Unicorn Magic Honeydew Soda. It was in there because it was a punishment for a video. We don't obviously drink this. It's actually really nice. Yeah. So much sugar that I'm literally tearing up. So I have an editing question for you, actually. You've got the most ridiculous camera gear available to you. You've got 300 cameras in some videos. You just upgraded your cameras, actually, to new ones that can shoot 8K resolution. Which I never will, because I think it looks too professional. Yeah, so this is the question. Why is it that after all that, you still export in 1080p? I don't like the way high quality footage looks. You know, at the end of the day, it's just me and the boys messing around. You know, we still come up with the videos. It's still things that I find fun and I enjoy, and I don't ever want things to feel too produced. Why, do you do 8K? We do 4K. To some extent, in the tech genre, there's like an expectation that you have good production value. Of course. If I can't take good footage, who am I to judge other phones for how good they is can take footage? Is this in 4K? Footage? This is in 4K. Okay, but there's a twist here. You've come here thinking that Jimmy has just one. That's a really, really good point. We've just seen what they call Studio C. Okay, and this is Studio A. This is where it all began. This is also where I've heard a lot of Mr. Beast secrets are. And this is Walt. Hi, I'm Walt. I'm the head of on-site production for Mr. Beast Gaming and Mr. Beast Reacts. There's a whole bunch of lights here. Yep. What lights does Mr. Beast use for his videos? They're called sky panels. Every single one is a $7,000 fixture. I'm capable of lighting. Wow, wow. So that's like at least 10, 12 kilos? Probably. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> now, because Heavy stuff. The main office that everyone works out of, Studio A is the one where you find the most exotic items. I'm talking like a mini drivable Lamborghini. That reminds me of some other creators as well. Chocolate factory. And then tubs upon tubs of costumes that they used in their recreation of the Squid Games. So this is the gaming trailer. Oh yeah, iPhone or Android? I am iPhone, I got a 12 Pro Max. This cabin. Once again, comment below if you are an Android. Android user, comment below if you're an iPhone user or an Android user. And questionable tech items. There's a real ice cream machine and there's Nerf guns everywhere. Whoa. <laughs> so this is the office where I kind of currently work out of. Is this what I think it is? Yeah. It was the retro future. The custom made. Or... The retro future. Sesame seeds, the pink power button. You can change the color on the screen. <laughs> Whoa! That Just, is wild. You can't beat. Weirdly, that's one of the coolest pieces of tech I've seen so far. Here we have Jimmy's gaming room. Oh, damn. The main idea with these setups is that they could sit down and then be good to go filming within a minute or two. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna... Wow, this is completely high tech, for sure. 
Oh, good choice of chair. You can tell that the entire setup here is just geared around efficiency. They've got it to the point that with one tap of this button here, all lights can be turned on and off. And with a tap of this button, all the relevant programs that they need to film one of these gaming videos, they are loaded and ready in one go. They're including the software to be able to see your own. That is so efficient. Really smooth. This is the most responsive Windows experience I've ever had. The keyboard is a membrane keyboard, which is normally considered like a tier below, but you've done that for noise reasons. Yeah, intentionally. And so given that, it's actually, it's actually really nice to type on. It doesn't feel bad. The keys have nice travel. He's done a definite solid with this controller. This is my favorite looking Xbox controller ever. The chrome outlines around each button are nice. This is a very good choice of mic. And if you're wondering what the PC is that Mr. Beast uses for gaming, with an i9-11900K, 32 gigs of RAM, and an RTX 3090 graphics card, hooked up to a 4K 120Hz monitor. This whole setup would be around $15,000, but that's not the crazy part. Wow. Just one of them. The entire room has actually been almost 100% cloned four times. One for each of the characters in Jimmy's videos, Chandler, Carl, and Chris. They all have slightly different chairs and keyboards based on their preferences, but the core machines behind it are one-to-one. -one. So this is the storage warehouse. This is the that is so insane and actually so... Epic. Giant 40 inch touchscreen iPhones, got those. Yeah, so as you can tell, I'm very heavily onto Team iPhone. <laughs> so this giant iPhone, it's essentially a real iPhone 6S that's casting its screen to an Apple TV box screwed into the back that's hooked up to a large TV screen. It sounds ridiculous, Oh, that's very smart. It this is. is like the one part of it that I, I wouldn't have thought actually works. Yeah. I could take a portrait mode. All right, let's do that. <laughs> Here, I got you, I got you, yeah, I got okay. you. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Left my mark. This storage center is just rammed with all the stuff that's been used in past videos that might need to be used in future videos. Literally, anything you can think of. Tiki torches, rubber chickens, an even bigger nano leaf light collection than we have, even a box full of shockingly realistic babies. Don't ask me why, it's here. Pretty much all the expensive stuff lies within here. As far as like phones to give away, it's always Apple. Broken oh. a little bit. Looks like Apple just won the competition. Him something cool. So walk with me, boys. Oh, there's a plant there. We're doing a video where I put a guy inside of this red circle. See the outline around the house? And if he survives in there for 100 days straight, he wins half a million dollars. Okay, so we've seen Studio C, we've seen Studio A, we've seen whatever this is. We've got the full price of all the tech inside. But what is the actual cost of the buildings themselves? Oh boy. The big studio. Oh, I'm going to make my guess and say 15 to 20 million dollars. It's like probably 1.3 million. So, okay, 11.3 million dollars in buildings. Yeah. Plus well, everything else. I don't even want to know the total. You know what? <laughs> I just make the best videos possible and sometimes I have to spend money. And if you enjoyed this video, then a sub to the channel would be. He told me to say beastly. <laughs> You might have noticed over the last few months that the entire way that I'm trying to make my videos is changing. The way I now spend much more time moving between locations and being out and about. The way I'm trying to get more interactions with YouTube friends. Oh, wow. He's really, really engaging with other big YouTubers. That is really good. This was the first time Mr. Beast has allowed someone else to really, really provide like an in-depth tour of his warehouse so i think this is really exciting it's only up from here and we know or he as he's mentioned he had a really small warehouse before and now it has just scaled to such a higher level this is so exciting and this is so cool if you guys ever see that mr beast drops a house tour video make sure to comment that below because we are definitely definitely gonna want to check that out as well and don't forget to comment below are you an iphone user or are you an android user all right and we shall see you in the next video